I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster, and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar's afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. Wouldn't you rather be a knight? Hmm. Knights are worthy too. I know. I'll be a witcher knight. Geralt, you're great. Will you play with me now? Not now. I'll see you later. Hey, Geralt. These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake... I can't breathe, and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Hi, Geralt! How did you get here? I'm not telling. I'll walk with you. If anything happens, run. Kill my beloved Elena! I didn't mean to! Lawyer, you were jealous of her! Die, murderer! Ah!
Witcher, can you hear me? You who are neither man nor ghost. Mortal whom death follows. Who are you? A soul damned to wander the world forever. Who cursed you? I myself did, in killing my sister Alina, out of jealousy. Selina? Love denied. The sun denied. It burns! At night I sing my plaintive song. Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena! I'll never see her again! Selina killed her sister? She confessed! They argued, and Selina pushed Elena. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selena told me, and I couldn't control myself. Selena envied Elena, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Elena is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A terrible! I must help her! Try not to do anything stupid. Fighting your or mother sucks fighting or Geralt? I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I prayed to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sister's souls pass on. How can I help? Do you know how to help a ghost enter the realm of the dead? Anyone specific in mind? Alina. She turned into a noon wraith. Alina gained possession of a rare and powerful item, the Nehalenia's Mirror. Nehalenia's mirrors often served prophets and oracles, for they foretold the future. Alina oft turned to her mirror for advice. Asking the usual, who is the fairest of them all? Nehalenia's mirrors can be distinguished into the courteous and the smashed. Precisely. Alina's mirror wasn't courteous. Thank you. I know what to do. I'll find its parts and reassemble the mirror. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died serving the lady over the ages. Gavander defended her honor against the Black Skull Knight. Elavera perished at the foot of her altar fighting a water beast. Boar's tomb is symbolic, for the knight was lost on a holy mission. The last is for Renard, an ordinary innkeeper who stopped customers from pissing in the lake. Who lies beneath the fifth mound? The last stands empty, awaiting a new champion. Who lies beneath the knight? Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed. That is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes, you can speak with the lady's champions. From them I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. 
Who is the Lady of the Lake? I know her to be a goddess. At times I see her dressed in white, traversing the fields through morning fog, her bare feet stepping lightly over the dewy grass. Do you like her? I love her. I believe the Lady is not of this world. Mysteriously, she affects the entire area, safeguarding its people and granting them abundance. Yet her influence is subtle, and she never imposes her power. Intriguing. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Why does the Lady of the Lake seem skeptical about the search for the Holy Grail? Many fine knights set out seeking the Grail, abandoning their roles as guardians of peace and justice under the guidance of the Fisher King and the Lady of the Lake. Now the Fisher King is mute, and the night's gone. I think the lady must be very lonely. But she's a goddess. You know not how lonely a goddess. Do you think goddesses cannot be lonely? The gods ultimately created us in their own image. Can I ask you something? What is it? I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory. And finally, one of the most mysterious. The philosophical or mystical. Which one first? Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings and wounds, and pain will turn into power. One theory also states that in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect their inhabitants from danger, creatures of the dark, natural disasters, and so forth. Sounds like Dandelion's ballads, only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Go on. Knights have been seeking the Grail for ages, yet none succeeded. Both the noble Lancel and the bold Boars failed. I heard even the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose has shown interest. Any specific instructions associated with this theory? Unfortunately, I know only what I garnered from my books. The conspiracy theory sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the prophet Lebioda. Go on. These descendants, talented in the ways of magic, were protected by a secret organization before they ultimately mix their own blood with that of En Seid the knowledgeable one. The theory goes on to present the tempestuous and twisted fate of Sangrial, but the author gets lost in his arguments, often contradicts himself. Generally, it turns into an unholy mess. Enough genealogy and genetics. I sense that's a false trail. Which theory should I present next? The philosophical, mystical one. Mm, uh, the most esoteric. The Grail is a concept, a general understanding of good. The search for the Grail is nothing beyond an ordinary quest for perfection. Interesting. The Grail has no specific form or shape. It differs for each individual. It can be an object, an idea, a discovery. It can also be a search for the truth about oneself. Hmm. This theory claims the quest for the Grail to be the goal in itself. The result is of secondary importance. What are you suggesting? I serve the lady and am more insightful than you think. I know you return to the world of the living from death, 
presumably in search of something, but that is none of my concern. Just remember one thing. What? At the end of your journey, the Grail may prove to be entirely different from what you initially expected it to be. Anything a Witcher can do for you? I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortelles. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent. And no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the King of the Hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Can I help? I finished the job. The wild hunt is gone. Splendid. I'm grateful. Which reward do you want? The wreath of immortels. Handle it carefully and use it when the moment is right. Thank you. Please also take this sack of holy salt. Carry it on you to fend off phantoms. It might prove useful.
asked you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices. From all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I'll remember that. Yes? Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orans. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. No pain, no gain. Greetings! What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Gladly. There you are, bless you. Any work? Yes, I am having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus. I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orans? Sorry, I promised to help your wife. Yes? Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, 100 orans? Here. Master Witcher. I have the glimmering dust. Finally! I'll make my husband an amulet to repel the succubus. The herb manual as agreed. Farewell. Follow the noon wraith. Come with me. Alina, gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilfgaardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? I do, but that's none of your business. I know. 
You love Triss. What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror delighted Alina, yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Geralt? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. Uh, isn't our wedding the day after tomorrow? Not anymore. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. The sun rocks the earth. Grain falls from the stalk. Come away with me, wanderer. Come away with the noon wraith. Geralt? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. Milady, uh, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true. His soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me. Selena. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selena, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a Witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Wanderer, driven on by the wind as I am, why do you disturb me? I'd like to help. So one exists who is not indifferent to my fate? What is this? A wreath of immortelles? Crown me, white-haired one! Free me! Go in peace, Selina. You have suffered enough. Geralt? Dandelion, care to explain why? Well done, Geralt. I would have warned you, but I had to rely on a sudden inspiration. Spare me your inspirations in the future. 
Stop sulking. It worked, didn't it? Gave me an idea. I'll develop that theme into an epic work about folk customs. Geralt? How do I get the letter off? Best see the fisherman. He'll take it to Vizima. See ya. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina... Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now... I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. I killed the fishman. Dear gods, what is it? Take your 800 orange and remove that nasty thing. Farewell. What can we do?